Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Welcome, welcome new subscribers to the Divine Time and Tarot family. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Hello, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you and I truly appreciate you. Y'all done got me up to those 5,000 and some now. I did give away 10 free readings because I when I, I told y'all when I hit the 5,000, I was going to give away 10 free readings. There's a couple of people out there. You guys did contact me and I haven't heard anything else from you. Um, if If I already have your information and I've already emailed you, just get in touch with me, okay? So you can get your reading done. Um, we are here doing a general reading for Scorpio. This is for the second week of February 2021. Scorpio, I've already um, shuffled sage, prayed over your cards, and laid down your overall energies. Wow. Scorpio. Mm. It looks like y'all going to be going through something the month of February. You guys are releasing. You guys are separating. I don't know. This month does not look like it's going to be too good for y'all. The first card you got out for from the Romance Angels is separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Y'all could be separating from a marriage. You have the wedding card. Um, because you deserve love, Scorpio. You are lovable. You guys are going to be he healing from this life so quickly. So no worries. This is something that's been going on for quite some time, Scorpio. So you already know what it is, okay? Okay. You also got on the mend. So some of you guys, your heart, you are healing, okay? You're healing at this time. And then you have, you are in the spotlight. You're getting attention. You are going to be getting a whole lot of attention, Scorpio. You're putting your boundaries down. You have standards and boundaries. So what you going to be going through, Scorpio, you're probably already already healing from it because I'm feeling, I'm hearing that you guys have already emotionally detached from someone anyway. Some of you guys have possibly met somebody new or maybe you're, you're starting a, 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 a relationship that's fairly new. Be careful. Because it feels like somebody just giving you some lip, lip service, okay? Someone's not being honest, okay? For some of you guys, whoever you're dealing with, this person is very guarded, okay? They've obviously been through something already. They're very confused. They really don't even know what they want, okay? So just be careful. Look at things for what they really are. Use your intuition, okay? <clears throat> so let's see what Tarot has for Scorpio. Whatever some of you guys are doing in the month of February, I mean... People are going to be like really clinging to you. So you're not even going to really have time to even think about this separation. You're really not. <laughs> ah, you know, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Like I said, this is something y'all been going through and it's just time to release it. You know, it's just, it's time, it's time to let it go already. Okay. It's time to let it go already. Let me put this down so y'all can see the cards. You have the nine of wands. So you're very guarded. 
Like I said, you you putting your boundaries down here. You're not taking any more any more nothing from anyone. You have taken those rose colored glasses off, okay? You see things for what they really are. You're not, you know, you're just not in the mood to play any more games with anyone. What else, guys? Could be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries here. You also have the Four of Pentacles, Scorpio. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn that is holding on to you. Or maybe you're just holding back your emotions right now. Mm-hmm. Guarding yourself, protecting yourself. That's what I'm feeling. I feel that you are protecting yourself. And you have the Ten of Wands, so something is a burden. And it's probably this separation that you're going to be going through. Yeah. But you're releasing. You're releasing these burdens, Scorpio, so no worries. You're going to get some quick, fast communication coming in from somebody. Possibly a Leo Sagittarius doesn't have to be, but somebody is coming in very quickly for you, Scorpio. Be careful because, like I said, somebody is just gonna be giving you some lip service because they wanna, they want, they want some attention from you. Okay, so be careful. What else, guys? Do we have a Scorpio Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Whoever is holding on to you, Scorpio, this person is going to communicate with you because they're wanting to they wanting to invest in you, okay? I don't know. This might be a burden for you because this is somebody in your past. No doubt about that one. Look, the devil. This person could be very toxic. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. And then you have the higher fonts. So like I said, it's time for you guys. You guys are gonna be releasing a marriage. Gonna be you guys are gonna be separating from a marriage. Yeah. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Ten of Pentacles financial security for a Scorpio. Yes in the will of fortune something is destined you guys okay and i believe it's this separation it's destined to happen it's destined to happen so somebody could have been juggling in this situation somebody wasn't even really committed in this situation scorpio and you know you know what your issue is okay this may not resonate with everyone if it doesn't just let it go okay but yeah, someone is making a judgment. Someone's making a judgment. Someone is over it. So it feels like you, Scorpio, are over it. You are over it. Okay. You. <laughs> this has been a long time coming, is what I'm hearing. A long time coming. Mm hmm. Y'all done started put. Y'all done started um, putting them boundaries down, putting your foot down, protecting yourself. So there's nothing else left to do. Especially if someone is just not getting it, you know, and then you're still going through the same old situation with somebody. Yeah, it's time to go. Time to go. Why is the Nine of Wands here for a Scorpio? Woo. Yeah, we got the Moon card here. You've been going through, you've been dealing with somebody that's always, you know, got secrets. This is definitely somebody that you love, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Why is the nine of wands here? Um somebody is rushing back in, Scorpio. This person This person is in love with you, Scorpio. This person is watching you too. Wow, are they watching you? 
This person probably be crying at, at, at nighttime, Scorpio, because they're missing you. They're rushing in. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but be careful. This person is probably going to be giving you lip service. There are secrets here, and we got the devil on the table, okay? We got the devil on the table. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah. The Four of Wands. This could also be for, for you guys that are married. Your person is still holding on. They're still holding on to you. Why is the Four of Wands here with the Four of Pentacles? Why is the Four of Wands here with the Four of Pentacles, guys? Yeah, it could be a Leo that you guys are dealing with. Leo Sagittarius. They feel that this is going to be a missed opportunity. But look, they are looking at other opportunities also. Because they already know that it's over. They know that it's over. So they're looking at other opportunities. Or you are. You are. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? You guys are definitely de dealing with a, a fire sign or earth sign. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Something is just too much for you guys. You you guys are ready to go. Four of Pentacles. This person is definitely holding on. Oh, wow. This could also be somebody in y'all past that's holding on to y'all that's coming in, that's rushing in. Look, the devil again. Oh, wow. Y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus. Something is very toxic around you guys, okay? Very toxic. It could be this marriage that you need to release. It's toxic. And this person is still holding on to you. Why is the devil here? Or Scorpio, this could be you too. This is somebody in your past, Scorpio, that's coming in, that's holding on to you. And this person is very toxic. Wow, y'all. They rushing in too. Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? They want to communicate. They want a new beginning with you. This person has a lot of passion for you. Or this person could be obsessed with you too, Scorpio. Look, you emotionally fulfill this person. Or this could be the person that you married to. This is somebody that you got kids with also. Look. And, like I said, y'all got somebody else coming in also, Okay. Um, there's equal love here with somebody in your past, Scorpio. A soulmate connection here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? This person wants to build with you. This person definitely wants to build with you. They know that you get a lot of attention. And remember this card that you got earlier in the spotlight? Attention. You're going to be getting a lot of attention, Scorpio. Yeah. Like I told you, this person watches you. They see that you're very, that you're successful, that you get a lot of um, recognition, and you get a lot of attention. They see, mm-hmm, they want to invest. They sure do. Why is the Six of Wands here? But you're not having it. It's the Queen of Swords. You done been there, done it with this person. You know this person is toxic. Some of y'all dealing with a toxic marriage and a toxic per toxic person that's coming back. You know, your soulmate is coming back. That person is toxic, okay? Two. Mm. The devil is being clarified by the nine of swords. This I told you, this person stays up at night watching you. And it's a burden for them. It's a burden. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Nine of Swords? Could be dealing with a Gemini. Look, this is your um, soulmate. This is your twin flame, Scorpio. This is your twin flame, and this person knows it. I'm getting obsession, and I'm also getting addictions here, okay? Why? But see, y'all, this person got secrets, too. This person got some secrets, okay? This person could also be married, y'all. Why is the higher fine here? Why is a higher fine here for Scorpio? Yeah. Okay. 
this person probably y'all going to come in because y'all haven't been dealing with this person. Y'all stepped away from this person because this person had y'all was juggling you guys, okay? Now they coming in. Y'all, please use your intuition because this person going to come in heavy. They coming in offering commitment, okay? Offering commitment. Possible engagement. This person wants a new abundant beginning with you. And commitment. Ooh, y'all. Y'all gonna be in a pickle in February. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. This is, you know, stability. <clears throat> or, why is the Queen of Pentacles here, guys? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Like I said, y'all, y'all person could possibly be dealing with somebody. Okay? And... There's a possibility that they have ended something. Because we got the world card here. Or y'all going to just close this cycle out. Period. Why is the world card here? Oh, we y'all. This is too much. Too, too much. We got the sun card here. I mean, this is opportunities. This is the best. I mean, the sun card is the, 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 the most positive card in tarot. Why is the sun card here with the world card? This person definitely wants a new beginning with y'all, no doubt. But, yeah, they want something equal and balanced. This person could have been married and they're probably divorcing. They're probably going through legal issues right now, y'all, because they're feeling stuck. Somebody's feeling stuck. A Gemini Libra and Aquarius. It's a possibility. But, y'all, something is going to be at a standstill with this person. They definitely want to build with the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all got the Ten of Pentacles on the on the bottom of this deck too. Y'all finances are going y'all going to be very secure, Scorpio. So don't even worry about your finances. Look, the will of fortune is under that. This is good luck, good fortune. Something is destined here, okay, y'all? Something is destined to end and something is destined is fated to happen, y'all. Okay? Y'all just got, it's going to be very unexpected too. Y'all got to keep your eyes open. Y'all got to, y'all intuition is on fleet anyway. Y'all really got to pay attention in February, in this month. Let's get an outcome. What's the outcome here for Scorpio? What is the outcome here for Scorpio? <clears throat> What's the outcome for Scorpio, guys? What is the outcome? Yeah. You've learned the, the spiritual lesson. <clears throat> Some of you guys have mastered something here. And you've learned a spiritual lesson here. Okay? Somebody was in your life to teach you something. And you have and you mastered it. Okay? You have integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? For some of y'all know, that's why y'all y'all putting boundaries down here. Y'all putting y'all boundaries down. Yeah, somebody have addictions. We had the devil here twice on the um on the table. And addiction is affecting this relationship. What's the advice? Give me some advice for Scorpio. Yeah, somebody's coming in with an apology. So expected. What is the advice? One more card, guys. I hope y'all could. I know this was possibly all over the place, but anywho, y'all get what what resonates. If it don't, hey, let it go. Yeah, this person is coming back in. They did. They feel they deserve a second chance, y'all. They want a second chance. This person has been awakened to who you are to them. You are their soulmate, twin flame, honey. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation also. So, like I said, y'all, I mean, you love the person, whoever it is. You love this person. Just see what they have to say. Make sure they ain't giving y'all lip service. That's all I'm saying. If it resonates, 
please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, Scorpio. Bye-bye.